In this video, I want to show you how to set up and use your own 4K streaming device. What you see here is everything included in the box. So let's get started right away. The first step, obviously, let's put the batteries that come in the box in the remote control. This is the device itself. We have a USB port right in the front. This is where we're going to connect the power adapter, just like that and this other side and your wall outlet. Right over here we have the HDMI port. It comes included with an HDMI cable. You're gonna connect one end of this HDMI cable in the front over here. And the other end goes in the back of your TV. Usually you have two, three or four HDMI ports on the back. It does not matter where you connect it. Just remember which port it is. So in my case, I'll connect it to HDMI number one. Next step, we're gonna turn on the TV. I'll use the remote control of my television to power it on. Then I'll select HDMI one as an input source on my TV to be able to see my own 4K streaming device. And from now on, you don't need your TV's remote control. Your remote control is automatically paired with your device once you have put the batteries inside. So let me go through the initial setup over here. So choose your country, okay, United States, Canada, Puerto Rico, or other. And now they will ask you, how do you want to proceed with this setup? There's two different options. The first option is to download the Google Home app on your smartphone they will ask us to sign in using this code over here, this QR code, and enter all your data on your phone. Some people find this way uh, easier and this is what they suggest, but if you don't wanna take your phone, download a new app you will never gonna use in the future, what you can do is to simply go over here, set up on TV instead, so press the down button on the remote control and select set up on TV instead. They'll ask us over here to select our Wi-Fi network. So again, browse to these, select your Wi-Fi network and type the password using this virtual keyboard. Once the password has been typed, you're gonna go and select the check mark and it will try connecting. Here we go, it connected in just a few seconds. Next step is to link your Google account to your own streaming device. You absolutely need to have a Google account. So go ahead, type your email or phone, depending how you log in in your Google account usually. Then press this button over here and they'll ask us to input our password. So go ahead and type your password. And then press this button again to confirm. Press accept. Select accept as well. Press confirm. Here select set up remote. They'll ask us how would you like to set up the sound. So will the sound come out of your TV speakers or you prefer coming out of a sound bar? If you have a home theater receiver, in this case, you need to select the last option. But in my case, it's simply the TV speakers. So I'll select the first one. They'll ask us which brand of TV you have. So go ahead and uh, find it in this very, very long list. Press OK. Press next. And now you can adjust the volume with your volume buttons on your remote. Select yes if the volume buttons are working. And now sele select next again. They'll ask us to press the power button on the remote control once. It will turn off the TV. Wait eight seconds. And after eight seconds, press the power button again to power on the TV. This is just to see that this remote control will be will actually be able to control your TV and your own 4K streaming devices at the same time. So you will not need to use your TV remote control anymore. Press yes if it worked. Press next. And now you have to wait a few minutes. All right, it took around four minutes and this is the screen we get now. 
Now, if multiple people will use this 4K streaming device and they all have different preferences, you can select multiple profiles. But if you're the only one using this, or let's say it's your wife, I don't know, your kid that watches the same thing as you and you don't want separate profiles for every member of your family, you can click on go, go to Google TV down below and you'll be greeted with the home screen of your own 4K streaming device. If there is any update available, you're gonna see them on the top right corner, update your remote as you see there. So if you hold the whole the home button, sorry, with on your remote control, you're gonna see those messages here and one of them will be update your remote control if this is what you have to do. So click, select continue, and uh, just wait, don't touch anything. It's very important to do these updates since uh, if you don't do them, the system can slow down over time or some stuff can stop working as well. So it only takes a few seconds. I highly encourage you to do them.